having you on uh, because you bring such a historical perspective and, and, and you, you've made a good point about how these midterms uh, listen keep in mind that there are hundreds of candidates running in state you know in Congress and Senate governorships etc that you might have an unexpected star emerge or, or, or Victor tell, tell us tell us about yeah that. I mean that's what's so interesting about history I mean think about 1858 a midterm and Abraham Lincoln, not known much in the nation at large, indulges in debates with Stephen Douglas. It becomes nationally known, and he then becomes the front runner, becomes Abraham Lincoln, the historic candidate, even though he loses that Senate race to Stephen Douglas. Or think about Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. He runs in a midterm, 1898, as governor, becomes Theodore Roosevelt a president. And FDR in 1930 in the midterms wins a landslide governor's race and becomes FDR, one of the historic presidents. So there's someone out there somewhere that may emerge and history will regard that as the most important part of this midterm. Maybe we don't know it yet.